Hi guys, it's me Andrea. Today I will show you a wedding card. This is uh, a napkin I have and I will use this image I already put on cardstock. And um, I will put this into the middle on this stripe. You can see how we cut that out. And that goes on the card base then. So it's only this stripe and I will put something dimensional right and left on the eyeball it. It should be sort of in the middle. And uh, doesn't need to be very, very precise. So I already put masking tape down and I will use this cookie maker, do you call them like that? Yeah. To make my marks, my pattern. And of course the wedding card, so hearts are, yeah, quite good for that. And this is a polyfiller, this stuff you put in nail holes in the wall, you know, to cover them up. Um, because I like to use it when I'm making marks, because it's so much better than modeling paste. Modeling paste, when you, when it's, when you put it on and you, you make the marks, it, it runs together again and then, yeah, it will be... Um, yeah, have, have been will have a closed surface again, and when you wait too long and there's a skin on top already, then you will tear it off. So my experience is with this polyfiller; it works fantastically. I've done a few videos about uh, nice textured backgrounds with this stuff, and I really like it a lot. And the best thing is, it dries extremely quick. So as you can see, when I put that hearts down, I gently move it right and left a tiny bit to get a bit of a gap, you know, a bit of a bigger gap, but very, very carefully. Um, masking tape off very carefully as well and um, lift it. And as I said, it really dries quick, not longer than 15 minutes. Perfect for me, so impatient, don't want to wait. I dab the edges on and off, everything what's over, and uh, let it dry. And while that dries, I work on the image. It's black and white, and I wanted to have it in this vintage look. And the vintage distress ink is perfect for that. So I want to make it look a bit like this colorized old images you have. And um, here I use the archival ink in brown because it is darker and I wanted to have the edges um, much darker, get more, a bit more depth. So and then I colorize the faces or the skin with this, I think it's worn lipstick. And here on, on, the, on the floor you can't really see that there is there are flowers and uh, almost not visible. So that's why I go over with my markers. And at the end, a few sketchy lines with my micron and around the kids as well. And that's it on the image. I will put some um, acrylic medium over later. Oh no, I, of course, I'm using my turquoise. How could, how could I forget that? So I really like this combination of brown and turquoise. To me, that's absolutely vintage, isn't it? So um, you will see now a close-up. That's what what I mean. I think it's perfect together, especially with these old pictures. But now, after that, I will put um, medium on top to make it permanent. So this is an alphabet sticker from Prima. I have this stuff for so long, and I thought I'll use it up now. It's uh, two colors, but I will only use the black ones, and um, I gather them now all together very quickly. The words will say when a boy meets a girl and that's it it um, yeah it is a wedding card ordered for someone these people don't know very well a colleague who's just started so um, couldn't really tell me something about him so that's why I keep it pretty neutral normally I like to personalize it and but in this case it wasn't possible so it's a neutral one, but nevertheless, it should be a nice one and a card or it really sticks out, you know. And I go over here with acrylic binder, fluid acry medium will do it as well, 
to um, seal it and have it clean to get rid of the last bit of dust. So that's why I do that. And it's much better workable on. It's not soaking up all the, the paint so much. This is acrylic paint from Amsterdam in turquoise and I make sure that everything is pretty covered but not uh, clotted up in these gaps because I want to make a glaze on top of that and the glaze should stay in, in the valleys there. And I think I forgot to press the, uh, to press the button on the camera. If uh, burnt sienna in glazing medium one to one Put on with a brush and then wait in until it's started to dry. Not not it shouldn't be dry. It should start to dry, and then I remove most of it with my baby wipes, especially um, on the hearts. But the gaps, as I said, should be covered with a brown, and that worked quite well here. So this is white acrylic paint. I put on with a brush, but blend it out with my finger. I like to do that with my finger. It looks much more diffuse, you know, not that with the brush strokes. I don't like it when you can see the brush strokes, so especially with highlighting or shading. So and on the other side I use uh, a brown pit pen, the big brush, and I scribble that onto my craft mat as well, as you can see here and use my water tank brush again and I start quite light. You can always go more often and darken it out but when it's dark once and when it's too dark you won't be able to correct that because when that's dry it's dry, it's permanent so so that's why I'd rather start very light. So on this is the last layer, it is from Liquitex, the gloss varnish, and that gives a really nice shiny look without being too, uh, too shiny or too much reflection. It's a, like a satin look. I met that on black cardstock, and um, initially I wanted to leave it like this and put it on the white card base, but I thought it was quite boring. Um, so I use this corrugate cardboard and I think the color goes quite well with it, with this vintage theme. And um, I leave it like that and I will put the letters uh, on top and on the top left, you can see it here on the top, uh, the bottom right already glued down and that's it. You will see the close-up now, off-camera afterwards, I put some of my triple gloss into the big hearts to make them stand out. Didn't show that, but yeah, I think it's okay. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you like it and gives me a thumbs up. And I wish you a fantastic week and I hope I will see you soon with my next project. So bye-bye guys.